In a bit of a BitSocket exclusive, we've come here to the city of Dunwall to review its beautiful architecture, its stunningly brown, dirty water, and to find out if this could actually be the first in a new series of stealth masterpieces. I'm going to say something a bit controversial here about Dishonored because a lot of you guys out there are going to think, oh, what is he talking about? But you see when you hear what I say and then you think about it, then you go home the night and tell your mum about it. She'll be like, that's what I thought as well. Right, Dishonored isn't an amazing looking game. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean, Scott? What do you mean it's not a great looking game? It's at the forefront of... Blah, 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 blah. Right. It's got a great visual style and that's why I love it. It's a bit like playing Skyward Sword because it has that same kind of lovely colour palette to it. I'm not going to lie here and say, oh, it's got an amazing draw distance because really it doesn't. There's a bit where I walked into a room and it was just grey and then it took a wee minute, then suddenly it had colour. But that's not the important thing. It's the fact that it's got its distinct character to it and that's maybe what helps it stand out. In my mind, it reminds me so much of Bioshock. And I know that's probably a dangerous word to say because let's be honest, it's pretty much the same game just for a change of scenery. But it has that same feel to it, where I'm wandering about Dunwall thinking, I want to live there! Not really because it's full of rats and folk are dying and getting killed and assassinations, but I'd like to maybe visit there. You know like the way you visit Falkirk? Guards, guards, get in here. But nicer. Moving on from how the game looks, the game's quite familiar. When you start playing it, you'll notice the kind of two-hand mechanic. You can have your projectile weapon in one hand, or a magic power, if you want. And in the other hand, you've got your sword, which is kind of what you use primarily in a lot of your fights. You're kind of stabbing, you're parrying, you're blocking. Every time you get a good wee parry in there, it opens a guard up, so you can decapitate them. You know, so they, they can't really have an open casket at the funeral. It's a bit of a shame, really, but that's only for the bodies that you don't feed to rats. And I feed everybody to the rats. These forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. For me, the game really opened up when I started getting my abilities. There's Blink, which lets you fly about fast as fuck. There's abilities that let you summon up some rats so they can chew a skeleton, which actually looks amazing when you do it. Although you do feel a bit sorry because the farmers will have nothing to bury. Because let's be honest, I've killed an awful lot of guys in this game. And you've got a heart which kind of leads you on to be secrets, tells you things about the levels if you listen to it. And I love that, it's all about character. And that's what Dishonored is, it's a game about character. Don't do that! All these skills are what separate it. Alright, maybe they're all pillaged from other games, but combined together with this wee kind of toolbox in this place, it just all works and it all works very, very well. We know you're here. So there's our tour of Dunwall over for the day. It looks a lot like Glasgow, but it's really not worth thinking about. Now, Dishonored is a game, it's a hodgepodge, it's a great big gumbo, if you will. You don't hear that word used a lot anymore, but it's a great big gumbo of things. It's got fighting mechanics from other games. It's got, I mean, it's pretty much Thief in many ways, but it takes a lot of things and bunches them all together and makes a really impressive package. And I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing it. And those guys out there who are like, that's funny, four hours long. They're the kind of guys that if they order a Kobe steak, they're going to have a downing competition trying to eat it in 30 seconds, even though it costs about 90 fucking pounds. Sorry. I'm talking about food again. But buy Dishonored. It'll surprise you. You'll enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, come here to beautiful Glasgow and you can look at the beautiful... What is... What is that? <laughs> Whatever it is, just remember to keep bit socketing. But what is it? <laughs>